Hi, this is David Heron again. Uh, and so this is the second installment of my uh, video series to uh, where I'm restoring a uh, Vigo 600 electric scooter. Uh, so the first step I want to show is the battery pack. And so what I have here are three 12 volt, 12 amp hour uh, lead acid batteries. Uh, these are these batteries are of a style that are usually used in uh, um, like uh, UPS systems or emergency lighting systems um, but they're also used in electric scooters, electric bicycles and so on. Uh, however um, more recently in, in the last couple of years lithium-ion batteries have, have replaced them. Uh, but for the scooter I just want to go ahead and, and use uh, these. Uh, these lead acid batteries. You have three three batteries and the way they're wired is in series. So you can see a loop here and a loop here which means that you've got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative uh, hooked up in a series. And so if you know battery math you know that that adds up to 36 volts. Which if I can get the... okay so it, it actually adds up to 38.6 volts at the current state of charge on this pack. Uh, and, you know, one thing I can do is move the uh, probe around. So you can see I'm measuring just one of the batteries. And it's reading 12.8 volts. If I move it to the second battery, it's reading 25.7 volts. And then if I move to the third, then it's again reading 38.6, 38.5 volts. Okay, so that that is a, a, one of the things I wanted to show was uh, just this little piece about battery math. Is, is you've got 12 volts here, you add a second one, it becomes 24 volts, and a third one, it becomes 36 volts. Uh, now, when I say 36 volts, you know, obviously according to the meter, it was reading 38 volts. Uh, so what do I mean by a 12 volt battery? Well, what that means is uh, that figure is what's called a nominal voltage, uh, which I don't know exactly how that number is derived, but it's the number that we always use to talk about these batteries. You know, these, these are 12 volt batteries, but when they're fully charged, they're 13.2 volts or maybe more. Uh, so that nominal voltage value is something that uh, you know battery engineers understand better than I do. Uh, I just know that everybody says these are 12 volt batteries. Mm. All right. So in terms of going into the uh, scooter, uh, I already know that this size of battery uh, fits perfectly inside the uh, the battery box because this is the exact kind of battery that was in there before. Uh, so, okay, the last thing I, I want to say is about the characteristics of these batteries. They're heavy. They, they are literally a lead brick. Okay, so the advantage of lithium-ion batteries, like those are lithium-ion batteries, the, the advantage of lithium-ion batteries is uh, energy density, and therefore uh, they weigh less for the same amount of energy. Uh, so the advantage of these lead acid batteries like these is cost and simplicity. Uh, these batteries don't require any uh, battery management system. Uh, you can just charge them up with any old charger and they're fine. Um, and, uh, and what else? Uh, you know, it's tried and true and so on. It's a lot less expensive. Uh, but, uh, you know, the future is lithium-ion batteries, uh, even though they're more expensive currently, they'll, they'll drop in price eventually. Um, it's just, like I said, for this particular vehicle, I wanted to go ahead with the, the lead-acid battery here. Uh, what else can I say about it? Oh, uh, that uh, one difference between them is that the lead-acid batteries uh, generally last for 300 charge cycles or so, uh, which on a daily use, that means about a year. Uh, whereas uh, lithium-ion batteries usually last a long, lot more. 
Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show, the last thing I wanted to show was the label here. So these particular ones are made by PowerSonic. It says model 12, well, okay, it says 12 volt, 12 amp hour. So, uh, and it doesn't say this on here. Um, Uh, you know, one thing it says is that this is lead, so don't throw it away in the trash can. Uh, but one thing that doesn't say is how the 12 amp hour is measured. Um, and so they measure this usually at a 20 hour rate, which means that if you were to discharge it at a rate that would equal a 20 hour discharge period, then you would be able to extract 20, uh, 12 amp hours from the battery. Uh, but for a vehicle like this, will be discharging it at a higher rate than that. So that means that it'll actually uh, give us less than 12 amp hours. Uh, again, this is David Heron. Uh, you can follow me at uh, longtailpipe.com, which is a blog where I write about electric vehicle issues, uh, or on uh, VS for Voltage, which is a community I run that has thousands of members from around the world talking about electric vehicles. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll be uh, producing more videos soon about this, uh, this electric scooter.